right now. Good day, New York, from the most powerful name in local news. As little as two to three servings a day of this, or there's some other uh, foods. There's peanut butters, mayonnaise with plant sterols. That's what you're looking for. <laughs> diabetic and you've had trouble losing weight or managing your blood sugar, you may want to ask your doctor if a low-carb approach might actually be better for you. Interesting. Okay, next myth. This is the New York Living Health and Fitness Report. Most recent studies show that having a protein in a sports drink doesn't actually enhance your performance at all. If you're looking to trim the fat from your food bill, you need to stay out of the junk food aisle altogether. The okay. chips and the snacks, they run up your grocery bill. They contribute nothing to your diet nutritional. Live from New York City, you're watching the CW11 Morning News. This is Chipotle. This looks pretty good. There are some good options at Chipotle, but again, you have to choose carefully. We caught up with Monica Reinagle of NutritionData.com at the Union Square Farmers Market. It's estimated that the food that we eat travels an average of 1,500 miles from its source to our plates. That's a lot of gas and a lot of CO2 emissions. Hi everyone, this is Monica Reinagle, the Nutrition Diva, here with your quick and dirty tips for eating well and feeling fabulous. Hi Monica, this is Don from Los Angeles, and I was wondering whether you subscribe to the blood type diet. Trying to lose weight on a low fiber diet is like trying to parallel park without power so steering. So what's all this about canola oil being toxic? A lot of these so-called energy bars are really not much more than fancy candy bars. A serious example of genetically engineered foods are strains of corn, soy, and canola.